In today's episode, we are going to create some beautiful late summer DIY projects with some hacks and fun tips that I hope you'll enjoy as we slowly, slowly move into fall. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm Susie, and this is Susie's Stuff. I'm so glad you stopped by, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. So sit back, grab a snack, and relax, and let's DIY. DIY. Late summer decor. I have this old vase from a couple of episodes ago. It was my faux leather episode. I'll link it down below. I just changed the flowers up, and instantly I have late summer. I love those sunflowers from Walmart. Now I've just got a bowl from Dollar Tree and some of their new fall flowers. So all I did was just cut the little flowers apart and just stick them in the styrofoam and I was trying to hot glue that in there, it wasn't staying. Um, but I just love it, just like that. How cute is that in your kitchen or wherever you need a pop of fall color, late summer fall. So a funny story is I was at Dollar Tree and I had gotten these two other bowls. I love those colors and Dollar Tree usually always has them. And the lady stuck them on top of each other because she was, you know, bagging it up. And I was like, wait a minute, that looks great together. And I don't even have to paint anything. So stacking these bowls, I think, is a great hack to get a great new look and perfect for fall and summer. I love it. What do you think? Love is this beautiful blue basket I picked up at Dollar Tree. And I'm just taking out all of my summer things, my magazine and all my pool stuff. This is a little cup that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. It has a little snack compartment in it. But this little basket from Dollar Tree, I just spray painted it with, I think it's, um, I can't remember the color, something beige. And I just spray painted it and how gorgeous is that? I picked up a little chalkboard from Dollar Tree as well and just snapped that right in there. I didn't need to glue anything. And then these are some wooden letters from Amazon. And so all I'm gonna do is write Lazy Summer on there. And while I'm doing that, I just want you to know if you are enjoying yourself today and like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. So I love how uh, I just hot glued those on there, kind of crazy, kind of lazy, and it just turned out great. You can also just use chalk if you want to, and you can change it out for any season. I love that too, because this basket is just perfect. You can put in a poinsettia maybe for Christmas, or like what I'm doing here is I just added a little um, uh, burlap bow, and then I'm just gonna add some beautiful flowers. Lots more sunflowers and those beautiful lavender pieces are just gorgeous together. I added in some fabric just to kind of keep it together. And then I added a little bit of greenery and some more orange flowers on the other side. And that's all there is to it. How easy is this? And look how gorgeous that is sitting, or you could even hang this on your door, uh, your front door or anywhere sitting on your backyard porch. How gorgeous. And you could even use an old straw purse maybe to add some flowers. But I hope you enjoy this lazy summer basket. this is going to be one of my favorite ones today. This is a $3 wooden frame. I guess it's a frame, but I'm using it as a tray today. And this beautiful woven 
placemat from Dollar Tree. I really, really loved the colors. It was all the colors I was using today, the oranges and greens, and I just love that turquoise in there too. Totally takes you from summer into fall. Perfect. And so I just cut it down. I added a little bit of the Mod Podge down in the bottom just to kind of keep it in place. And then I'm gonna pour a whole bunch of Mod Podge on top. I just wanted to give a big shout out to everybody that leaves comments. They are the best part of making these episodes for everybody. And I just appreciate all your sweet comments. They are so nice. Did I say that this tray was the $3 dollar plus? Um, but anyway, I, I did get it at Dollar Tree in the plus section. So check out these new beautiful butterflies and moths that they have. These little stickers. The colors went perfect with this woven placemat and I was so excited to put this together. I couldn't believe it. I was going to put the butterflies kind of on one side and then I just got carried away. They were all so beautiful and I just added um, a few other pieces here and there and I love how it came out. I do give it a final coat of Mod Podge. Mm -hmm. I think this is a huge wow if I do say so myself and so I add a top layer of Mod Podge here and while I was letting it dry I was thinking wait a minute I'm going to make sort of a little set so I went into the kitchen and found these beautiful little mugs and added some stickers on that and look how that came together how beautiful for a little late afternoon tea time with your friends or just by yourself and to serve it in this beautiful tray. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you can find these beautiful butterflies that they have in now. Gorgeous. Hey, wait a minute. Is that a pumpkin? Ooh, a little sign of fall is creeping in. Yes, I have more and we are going to make a little sunflower out of this fabric. This is some old ticking fabric, but I spotted some at Dollar Tree, so be sure to pick that up. I also got the dotted fabric from Walmart and I'm just using these round styrofoam from Dollar Tree for my little pattern. And I'm just cutting out six pieces because I'm going to make um, three little sunflowers, kind of puffy sunflowers. And for the dotted fabric, I'm just cutting a whole bunch of little um, triangles and I'm using my pinking shears. And now I'm just laying it all out to see how it's all going to fit. And I do hot glue two of the little triangles together to kind of make them stiff so they stand up a little bit better. So I'm just going to add that all the way around and then I'll just hot glue those on and then hot glue the other little circle on the other side. Then we'll stuff it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and then you can click the bell and it will alert you every time that I upload a video so you won't miss anything. And so now I'm just going to hot glue that on top and leave a little opening for my little stuffing. This is just some basic pillow stuffing. I just add that in there and then close it up with more hot glue. I then add some dowels to it. I paint them with some Waverly antique wax and then we're going to stick those into the sunflowers. just love these little sunflowers they are so so cute you can just leave them like that but I am going to add these dowel rods to them and I just really quickly added the wax to it added a little bitty raffia bow and then I've got these three jars at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna pop them pop in some of the pebbles from Dollar Tree as well. You could use just that big vase that I have right there, but I just had three, so I'm adding that all together and look how cute. 
This is perfect to move right into fall. I love sunflowers. They are just gorgeous. I know you're going to enjoy this DIY. And this DIY is going to be so colorful, you will be amazed. And we are starting off with a Dollar Tree pizza pan. And oh, I have my coffee this morning with my little butterfly sticker mug. It's so cute. And it matches perfectly with this DIY. So we are going to make, well, I'm not even sure what you call it, but you can tell me what you think. I'm just wanting to outline or just do the, the outer part of this pizza pan and I used some red and yellow paint kind of mixed whatever I could could get and I added a little bit more yellow on top and I just love how that turned out so it's dry now and I have this sort of linen fabric that's beautiful just a vibrant orange beautiful beautiful and I just kind of frayed the ends with my little pliers there and I was going to add modern podge on all of it but I just decided to do it on the bottom so you can really feel that texture it's just so beautiful and I just kind of went around the edges so this is all done and took about 10 minutes to dry it's actually not dry yet I couldn't wait but it did take about 10 minutes and then look what I found in the Dollar Tree plus section this beautiful galvanized sun how perfect to put in the center of this I'm not sure exactly what to call it maybe a sun medallion type thing you can hang it if you like or you can um, maybe put it in one of those frame holders but I think I'm gonna hang mine outside on my patio it just came out luscious look at that just a late summer sunset oh it's gorgeous and this is perfect to move into fall what do you think i can't wait to see your comments on this one we go on a hay ride this is a truck from the spring but you can use any of the trucks that they have now and um, I was going to kind of just sand it and then I just got just totally obsessed with pulling off all the paper and then I sanded it all down and then I'm gonna give it a good coat of white paint and then I'll add some black for the tires and some beige for the rim thing above the tires. So that came out really easy, no problem there. And so I'm just kind of sketching some little, um, you know, detail uh, things to put on there. And then I'm using these, this little cork adhesive stuff. I just cut a couple of circles to put on the inside of the tires that peel off I couldn't quite get it off but there we go got it and then that little palette that little wooden palette thingy it had was broken it kind of came off and it actually worked out really well for all the hay that's going in the back And if you are on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at Suzy Stuff. Drop by and say hello. And if you are doing any of my crafts, I would love for you to post them on your page and then tag me and I will look at yours. I know it would be wonderful. And if you do that, I'll even highlight yours on my next video. So go ahead and check out Instagram. I'm trying to be a little more active on there and show you some more things things I kind of fell off a little bit but I'm trying to get back on to Instagram and you guys will help me do that so now I'm just adding all the hay in there isn't it so cute and now I'm going back and adding some more detail and then I'm going to use some of these little um, the rub off letters from Dollar Tree I love those and we'll add those above the tires
I also love these stickers that you can find almost all the time at Dollar Tree. They're like little copper puffy little designs. They're really pretty. And so I thought it would make a nice touch on this truck. And here comes the letters. And if you notice there, I put one of the little stickers of a cow on this truck, but I ended up changing it because I didn't like it. I used another one of the little puffy copper stickers. It looks so much better. You see there, I love it. Hey y'all, I just made this gorgeous little truck. It's beautiful. And I know that you can make it with any of the trucks that they have now. You can even make it 3D, how you can add another truck behind it, which I may do that, may have to spruce this one up. So let me know what, what you think about, hey y'all, I love this truck. And for my last project today, I grabbed two of these plungers from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the stick part and the plunger part, the rubber part there. They were all kind of mashed up, so I kind of had to get them back into shape. And I'm going to be using this coastal sage color. Isn't it beautiful uh, for the rubber part? Yeah, well, no, it did not work. They were giving me such a time that does not adhere to rubber don't do it it said and more but uh, not rubber it took overnight and it didn't even dry then it was still so sticky and coming off and what i did was i just painted it twice with some uh, chalk paint and then i sprayed it with that clear rust-oleum spray and it came out perfect so it was a little struggle but I got through it and now I'm just using a Dremel because I'm adding some little holes this is going to be a bird feeder have you seen that before on um, Pinterest I drill the holes so in case any water or anything got in there it would drain out but aren't they adorable I also added some little um, daisies on there oh and a red bird showed up <laughs> And so I love these. They are so adorable. You can put them all through your house and even in a, in a plant, in a potted plant. So enjoy those. And I so enjoyed bringing you all these beautiful late summer projects to you. And I hope that you enjoyed them and that um, you're able to make some of your own. And we're going to get into fall here pretty soon. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next next time on Suzy Stuff, KDIY Channel 146. Bye everybody!